the way our society is structured, the processing of food becomes very invisible. You know, it's distant from us. You know, when I was growing up in India, everything was very intimate. You knew every step of the process. To me, it's a, it's a kind of sensitivity. You know, how do we bring back that sensitivity to what we're using? We are wasting about 40% of the food produced today in the world, not just in the United States, but globally. And that's particularly uh, bad for perishable foods, such as fruits and vegetables, which we waste at 50%. Meats and milk still at 20%. In the developed world, we have the benefit of what's called a cold chain. From the time your produce is picked, uh, it can basically be transported at refrigerated temperatures all the way through until it gets into our homes. But all that takes energy. 80% of our fresh water goes into agriculture. Because food is so energy intensive, that means the food system is an opportunity to save energy or to avoid energy consumption. And we could do that with our personal choices of what we eat, where it's from, how much we serve, and what waste we have. We can also get there with better markets, better policies, and better technologies that manage the system more effectively so we have less waste and fewer inputs along the way. Pluses and negatives to having produce basically be never out of season. As great as that's been for us as individual consumers, that also does mean that there's a, there's a price to pay because it's very intensive in order to support that kind of a system. We need to be very, very conscious of the perception of actual need and constructed need and excessive need. There's a hope in me that we could reimagine our sense of energy.